One thing I don't like about these kind of cells to grow seedlings in is that this is like all one piece. And if you put different kinds of things in there, they tend to germinate at different rates. They need, some of them need to continue on the, the, the heat mat for a while longer than others. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my scissors and cut these into, I believe I'll cut them into, should I do four or six? Okay. I think I'll do four because that will match the number of cells there better. Four, like four at a time. So that as they germinate, if I have four that germinate before the ones over here, I can take that out and put them in a different tray and continue with these on the heat mat or covered up or whatever needs to happen to them. It will give me a little more control over what I'm planting and how they're growing. Okay, so I have four packs here. Maybe I may need to go this direction. Yes. Okay. and a couple of six packs. All right, that should serve my needs a lot better than the way it was before. And I still have the ability to like move something up so that I can fill up the bottom with water. So my next task here is to get that filled up with starting mix and get water in it so that it, the starting mix can, well, I already dampened my starting mix in a container. So I'll put it in there and get water down in the bottom. And yes, I see that Sweetie Pie is approving of what I'm doing here. And then I will make a decision as to what seeds I'm going to plant to get started. And I am not going to plant cat seeds, I promise. So, sweetie pie, why don't you get out of there? I do not need you in my pot, in my plants. Go. Go, 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 go. Thank you. I'm going to start out with this four-pack putting tomatoes. I'm going to put two different kinds of tomatoes in there. And I'm going to do a Bonnie Best and a Mortgage Lifter. I poked little holes in there with, I po poked fo four holes in each one. Usually I like sprinkle and have a whole bunch come up, but I'm not needing as many this year, so I'm being a little more frugal. Plus I don't have that many. <laughs> I'll show you, let's see if I can get that. Tomato Bonnie Best from Pine Tree Garden Seeds. And I'm going to put, we'll put
put the the bonnie vest in there since these seats are several years old and putting more than one seat in each hole not not sewing as thick as I usually do but still in all fairly thick now I've got other tomatoes but like I said I'm being quite frugal this year and where did I oh here it is <laughs> what I didn't plant back in the sack. Okay, so there's the Bonnie Best, and I've got it labeled already. And the next one is the Mortgage Lifter. So it says to start indoors six weeks before the last frost. And I'm a little, see, let's see, this is the end of February. Tomorrow's the last day in February. March and halfway through April will be six weeks. And, I, and I'll still have another probably four weeks, maybe three, before I can plant outside. But as you know, I'm doing mostly inside. So I'll do what I can inside. If they get too big for inside, I'll move them into some bigger pots outside and we'll just play all of that by ear as we have to do. Okay, I may not have enough mortgage lifter seeds for the whole, for everything here. Well, maybe we'll do one. Okay, don't quite have enough for this. I might sneak another type of tomato in there. So for this other one where I didn't have enough, I decided on some cherry tomatoes. I usually forget to plant cherry tomatoes and I know cherry tomatoes tend to do better for me than big tomatoes anyway. So I've got cherry tomatoes and I Let's, let's see if I've got the, hold on, where did I put the package? I had them here a moment ago. And I'm looking, 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 <laughs> and you're waiting, waiting, waiting. Here we go. Organic large cherry red tomatoes. So that's what's going to go in there. Okay are good and I will kind of cover these up do this with all four of the cells that I've planted in I will before I put them on the shelf on the heat mat under the lights I will put some I will sprinkle vermiculite over the tops of them in these four cells right here I am going to be putting peppers now, peppers will take longer to germinate than tomatoes. That's one of the reasons why I wanted them, wanted to be able to move the cells separately. And Boy, I'm see, I seem to be having finding things issues here. I just had this package of peppers out. 
and then I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. It plum disappeared on me. Peppers, where did you go, little ones? Here they are. <laughs> they fell down by my feet. Okay. My fav our favorite kind. Let's see if we can focus in. There we go. Sweet Bell California Wonder Bells. And that's going to go in the First four, Acting like I forgot to poke the little holes. Let me make sure I got them, have them in there good. Why, why are you not on the camera? There we go. I've got that one planted already, and I got that one planted already. So I just have these two to plant. Okay. And then the bottom two, okay, the top two are California bells, and the bottom two are going to be Arroz con pollo. That means chicken with rice. It's a seasoning pepper. And it's not especially hot, although it is might have a little bit of hotness and I don't have very many seeds, so we're gonna do just Right here, this one. This one there. And I'm going to do this other, since I didn't have enough of the arroz, I'm going to do California Wonders there too. Okay, I got those labeled and we're all set to go with the peppers. So I'm going to plant other things down here on the other, plant other things down here on the other part. I'm going to get that done, get the labels made, and then show you what I've got so that you are not sitting here waiting for me to get things done <sighs> because I don't work real fast and I'm in a, kind of a funny spot here I'm sitting in my easy chair with the, that on another chair back in my plant room where I usually work I have to bend over just a little bit it makes my back hurt so I decided to do this in here so after I get them all planted I'll show you and then I'll get the, the potting so it's kind of damp, but I'll put fill that up with water in there and give them all a spray on the top. Put the vermiculite on it. 
get them on the heat map with the grow light and we will be off and running <laughs> and I will update you when I start germinating and when we start getting results you will see videos about it so for now let me get this done and I'll be back in just a little bit okay my tray is planted what did I plant besides the tomatoes and peppers I planted well I planted some banana pep banana tomatoes because I usually have pretty good luck with them so I decided to plant some of those I planted some asparagus one little cell of asparagus one little cell of moringa right in here I planted Roma tomatoes and then I've got fava beans in in a couple of squares there parsley in a couple and dill in a couple and all the rest of it is flowers and they're mixed flowers they will have all kinds of things in them perennial and annual mixed flowers hopefully and an array of colors and little plants Please germinate and come up and, and be beautiful. The heat mat is on and the light is on. And as they germinate, I may need to put something under them to raise them higher. We'll see. I'll cross that bridge when I get to it. And I move my beautiful lettuce over here under this other type of grow light. Everything else is status quo. My, I'm just about ready to pick my microgreens and plant some more and whatever this ended up being, it is growing. I will have a ripe tomato here probably tomorrow. It looks redder on video than it does in person. So it feels really good to get that small amount, of, really, compared to a lot of you, of gardening started. And it's always fun to watch things germinate and come up. And let's hope I have good germination. Some of the seeds were new and some of them weren't. So we'll see what happens. It's always an adventure. But it's a fun adventure. Now I need to go fix myself some lunch. It is past lunchtime. I have some leftover rice. I think it's kind of like fried rice. It's yummy. Leftover from yesterday. So I'm going to go warm that up and have myself a nice yummy lunch. And until my next video, may God's love and blessings surround you. Darlene from Darlene's Garden, signing out.